Well, it's not over. Uh, and we can't have an American people that violate the law and just walk away from it. So it's not over. You first, federal government. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I think there's an opposite thing to what Harry Reid said, and that's the federal government shouldn't violate the law, nor should we have 48 federal agencies carrying weapons and having SWAT teams. Um, can everybody decide what the law is on their own? No, there has to be a legal process. But I think there is a definitely a philosophic debate over who should own this land. And apparently, this is what I'm hearing, the family had a lease with the uh, county of Clark County for over 130 years. Arbitrarily, in recent years, the government, the federal government, decided they were going to override the county lease and they were going to assume control of it but they never ask um, for permission from the from the from the rancher. Right. So there is a there is a valid debate here, but I don't like to see things descend into violence. And I hope it'll go through a court. But if it were in a court, I would be siding and wanting to say that look, the states and the individuals in the states should own these lands. Yeah. You know, eighty percent of Nevada is owned by the federal government. We need to get it back to the state of Nevada. So when there's a bunch of chickens running around or tortoise, that we try to protect them. But at the same time, we don't do it at the expense of people. Yeah, I I think a lot of people don't quite understand either how ranching works in the West. I mean, I grew up, part of my growing up years in the West, we had open range where I was. It's impossible to have any number of head of cattle if you've only got 100 acres. So for years, a lot of ranchers have have let their cattle roam over public land. It's been kind of an agreement because you need that to get enough you know, feed for those cattle. So it's a fairly normal process. And that's why, ironically, you know, we pretty much have open borders. And there's a situation where a lot of ranchers down in southern Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, California are having problems protecting their own land. So while the government's up here sending SWAT teams or whatever after this guy because he might be threatening the desert tortoise, we got people that are facing real challenges along the border and they can't get help from the government. And the sheriffs are warning against that. And here's the other question about the tortoise. Uh, apparently, this guy's the, one of the last ranchers left in Clark County because Clark County's become more metropolitan and Las Vegas oriented. So there's not as much ranching as there was 50 years ago. So the question is, if there's very few cows, are the cows really hurting the tortoise? Right, right. So there, there usually is some science involved, and everybody just assumes from the federal government down, they come down with a sledgehammer and say, oh, it's the cattle or the tortoise. Well, Maybe there's less cattle than there's ever been, and they're not a problem for the tortoise. Yeah, I would agree.